on the last video. Are you fucking with me? And so it continues. All right, David, check it out. Look at that. You can save. I'm proud of you, buddy. Cool. Let's do this part again. He's gonna be like, gurgle, gurgle. There's the gurgles. Hi, crooked man. Uh, yep, alright, so, bottles? Uh, yes, some of this. Someone said go to the bottle, so I'm doing it. Okay, I guess that won't do much alone. What else can I do? Inventory! This! Lighter! Aha! That, now that's covered in alcohol, you should be plenty flammable. Yeah! He is going to burn down this entire hotel. I didn't figure that out alone, by the way. People told me that. I just wanted to tell you that in case you, you thought I I was a, some kind of savant. I'm not. I just... People told me about that. Okay, I'm going to read the dialogue now. He ran away. Ooh, woo. What the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? I might need something to defend myself. Now where could I look? He had plenty of options before. Maybe you could go get that fruit knife. Like I tried to get you to get before. That's the only thing that I've seen that was like a weapon type thing. Unless I've seen something else before and I totally overlooked it. But I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that I know of. Yay! There's the thing. A fruit knife. Maybe I should take it, just for self-defense. Got a knife. Good. So now you can stab a bitch. Hey, blood. Good. But blood <laughs> It's not funny. <laughs> this wasn't here earlier. Did, did something happen to Sissy? I better look for her. Maybe. I can't walk over the blood. It's kind of odd. I guess I don't want to get my shoes bloody. I guess I'll follow the blood. Wait, is it going this way or up? Oh, yep, yeah, going this way. Through here it is. Sissy, are you dying? She's probably bleeding from the foot. Door's unlocked. Hey, Sissy. Did you cut your foot? Probably. Hey. Sissy. What are you doing here? Your arm's bleeding. Well, that's another appendage, I guess. So it was your blood. Were you hurt? My arm caught on something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you have an... an oh, it's an amnesia. What if you have anemia? I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. Dots. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief, so I can at least try to wrap it up. I guess this is better than nothing. Does it hurt? It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly. It's silly that I'm wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, and all to find some measly box. Measly. But it's important, right? A memento from your boyfriend. Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Huh? He left me quite a while ago. But while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That was when I lost the box. I was worried about it ever since. 
I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him. But it was no good. Coming here brought back all these memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness. But when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right. So I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Sorry, I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a while longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Find a key to somewhere. Thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. Hi, sissy. You know, for the record, there's a... crooked man on fire. Yeah, he might come kill you. A little bit m important thing to think about. What? Why are you always like this, David? Like... Like what? You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Don't you have a personality? I don't mean to. I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. It would be the same with anyone but me, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look, please just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you could just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. Th then what should I do? You just don't trust me, is that it? It's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but it would just be an annoyance for us both to stay together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Toodles. Wait. We can talk this out. Surely. Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that. Timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. You know, I would feel that way too, but I saved my games. I'm not worthless. I learned from my mistakes. Was this door ever open? Yeah. That's where I got the thing. The wire cutter. Alright. So, I... You know what? I'm gonna try this door right here. This one's still been locked. It is that one. Sweet. Hello. I'll take this. Give me it. Something's in the fountain. How the hell has that box been in there that long and still looks so pristine? Ah, a box. Maybe this is the one Sissy lost. It must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away here, or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll get this to Sissy Pronto. Got Sissy's box. Alright, as soon as I look around. Pronto. Well, I looked around pronto -ly. Let's go back to Sissy. pronto -ly. Probably gonna be a problem or she won't be there. Sissy... Are you not there, or are you being attacked, possibly? You're not here. Huh? Did Sissy leave? But she's wounded. 
Sissy. Sissy, this is why you don't leave. I tell you to stay and you don't do it. Where are you? Are you upstairs? Did you go up here? Are you in the bar? Were you getting a drink? Sissy? No. Alright. The bar has had enough action, apparently. Sissy, where did you go? Are you in the piano room? Oh. Sissy. Stop right there! Back off, monster! David! Damn it. Sissy, get out of the hotel. D David, what are you? I said run away. I'll take care of this. Hey, monster. I don't know what the hell you are, but don't you lay a finger on Sissy. Sure. Thanks. Battle time. Holy crap, it is a battle thing. Neat. I'll beat you up. Ow. Okay. Well, I'll try to beat you up anyway. You do a little sprint sometimes. I'll wait till after you do your sprint and then attack. When you're weak and slow and scrawny. Ow. You're not scrawny there anymore. I'm down to 40. That's not scrawny. That's pain. Okay. You need to go at this at a different angle. Crooked man? Crooked man, stop sitting on the couch. This is a serious moment, you're ruining it for everyone. Okay. Stay there, crooked man. Ow. Okay, crooked man, you did your job. Okay, come on. Ah, uh, how am I doing this? How am I doing this? Shit. Okay, okay, come here. Come here. Good. Good. <laughs> Fuck you, man! You're a jerk! You're... Oh, okay. David. David! Pant, pant. David, are you okay? Yeah, I... Don't think it'll chase us anymore. Never mind me. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm not hurt. But... Sissy. What's wrong? Are you sick? Why? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did a monster attack me? I... I just didn't want to forget him. I just wanted to have my memory of him. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I... Can I not even love him? No. I hate it. Somebody... Somebody help. Sissy. Hmm. You've been too much of a yes man. What's wrong with being a wimp? Huh? You may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him, but... Is that such a bad thing? David. I was dumped a few months ago, too. I was sure we were going to get married. You... too. I was... dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've... Always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man. Especially in romance. I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married. And it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've 
Come to think, maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of the same person. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I decided I wouldn't give up either. And it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. David. This is your treasure, right? It's quite the box. It'd be a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand. And I know I'll always support you. Thank you, David. I... I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Hey. David. Did the box... come with a key? Hey. David. A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open, so... Though I didn't lock it. A key. Wait. Hold on. Maybe this brass key. <laughs> nah, of course not. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Where did you find it? Uh, really? I picked it up around here. A key from my house opened Sissy's box. So the former tenants involved with the box. What does that mean? It means her ex is probably the former tenant man. I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches the notebook pages. Which means he... No, wait a minute, off point here. I'm pretty sure that box is like airtightly sealed, so that's a really good box. Because that shit was in the water. I don't get it. But I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here. Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah. He wasn't here. So I'll check there next. Okay. Be careful. I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark out, after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, though, David. Well... Duh! Shit! You don't being cute there, girl. Goddamn! I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. You didn't even give me your number. What the fuck, girl? What you doing? Get back here. Give me them digits. <laughs> that surprised me. <laughs> but she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. Is this where he is? I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I see him, I'll go anywhere. Scene 1. Hotel Ruhenheim. Sissy. End. That was lovely.